After completing this lesson, you should be able to define the purpose of gateways, distinguish among different gateway types, and recall how to configure an XOR gateway. In this lesson, you will learn about the different types of gateways and add an XOR gateway to the new vehicle process model. Gateways control the workflow in the process model. They are decision points that adjust the path of a process flow based on conditions you set. There are four types you can use in Appian, AND, COMPLEX, OR, and XOR. The XOR gateway is used most frequently. This gateway splits a single incoming path into multiple outgoing paths based on a condition you define. In the Acme Automobile New Vehicle Process Model, right now, the process model only has one path that continues along the flow for adding a new vehicle. However, the Add Vehicle form has two buttons. The registrar can fill out the form and click Submit to save the new vehicle data, or she can click Cancel. To account for both scenarios, this process model needs an X or a gateway. To add the X or gateway node, I'll find it in the palette under Workflow, Gateways. I'll drag and drop it on the canvas between the Add New Vehicle Start node and the Review Vehicle User Input task, rearrange the nodes, and update the label to Cancel? Next, I'll add an End node and connect it to the X or gateway. Keep in mind that you need the Canceled Process instance to end. Otherwise, it will stay open. I'll call this end node end cancel. I'll also add labels to the connectors. Think about these labels answering that question of whether the form was canceled. Yes takes the process to the end node, and no continues to the review vehicle node. Finally, let's configure the X or node. I'll double click the node and go to the decision tab. In the Add Vehicle form, the process variable cancel is saved as true if the registrar clicks cancel. So, I'll click New Condition, open the expression editor, and type PV Bang Cancel. In the Result column, I'll select the End Cancel node. For the second condition, else if no rules are true, the result should be the Review Vehicle node. These conditions will direct the process to the end cancel node if the registrar cancels the form or to the review vehicle node if she submits the form. Now that this node is configured, let's save and publish the process model before debugging it. When you're using gateways, it's important to debug all paths to ensure they work correctly. I'll click Start Process for Debugging, fill out the form, and click Submit. After the form submits, you'll see the process stops at the start node. Click Refresh, and it continues through the XOR gateway to the Review Vehicle User Input task. Great! Next, let's check the Cancel flow. This time, I'll click Cancel in the Add Vehicle form. After I click Refresh, the process goes to the End Cancel node. Before we wrap up this lesson, Let's review the other gateways you'll come across in Appian, AND, OR, and COMPLEX. These are used relatively infrequently, but there are a couple of common scenarios that you should know about. The AND gateway can split a single path into multiple, and because this gateway does not have an IF condition, all paths will execute. This gateway is commonly used if you need to do something in parallel, like assigning several types of tasks. For example, in this process model, after the supervisor reviews and approves the vehicle, the AND gateway helps to task mechanics with the vehicle inspection, registrars with affixing the registration label, and supervisors with preparing a rental agreement. Note that you can also use an AND gateway to collect all paths into a single one. In this example, the process will not continue past the second AND node until all tasks are complete. 
the OR gateway is similar to AND, but with one key difference. It can split a single path into multiple. But because this gateway does have an IF condition, only the paths that satisfy specific conditions will execute. For example, in this process model, only the necessary tasks will be executed. That could be one, many, or all. The mechanics task will execute only if the vehicle is used and needs an inspection. The registrar's task, only if there's no registration, and supervisor's task, only if the vehicle is intended for rent. The complex gateway is used very infrequently, but you may encounter it when a process needs to selectively accept incoming paths and evaluate conditions to determine which paths should continue. In this process, a new vehicle needs to be approved by representatives from at least two of these three groups, supervisors, registrars, and mechanics, before it gets added to the fleet. The developer used the complex gateway to ensure that once two groups approve the vehicle, say, supervisors and registrars, the process continues and the vehicle is added to the fleet. Let's recap. Gateways control the workflow in the process model. The XOR gateway is used most frequently. It splits a single incoming path into multiple outgoing paths based on a condition you define. You may also encounter OR, AND, and complex gateways. To configure a gateway, use the Decision tab and direct the flow using process variables. And always debug all paths to ensure they work as expected.